On the Medical Watch, a caring doctor, a bag of blood, and a story that comes full circle. They trickle in, donors ready to offer an arm and a unit of blood. So I try to give blood every couple of months. Kyle Mack stopped in before work. He's a regular. That's because the Lurie Children's hematologist is acutely aware of the need for donations, particularly for his patients with sickle cell disease. It's common among African Americans and often requires monthly blood transfusions. Patients who have sickle cell disease can have serious infections, they can develop strokes, they can develop really bad pneumonias. They can have problems with their spleen. So there are a variety of complications in sickle cell disease patients which require chronic transfusions. When it comes to sickle cell, it's more than just blood type that matters. There are other factors that play a role in making a transfusion more compatible for a recipient. For my sickle cell patients who are largely of African descent, it just so happens that most people who donate blood are of Caucasian descent. And there are, besides the major blood group proteins, you have these minor antigens on the red cell membrane, which are more likely to be concordant in people of a similar ethnicity. This is a specific reason why we go out into the community to recruit African Americans to donate blood. And it's the reason Dr. Max started the Blue Tag program with the Red Cross. Any Red Cross blood drive in the city of Chicago will have these tags, they're called blue tie tags, that are available to African American donors. Their blood is earmarked for a child with sickle cell disease at Lurie. Dr. Max's blood was tagged. He'll track it on his Red Cross app from donation site to the lab to storage. He did the same with the blood he donated back in June, all the way to a familiar destination. What happened was I was on service, meaning I was taking care of inpatients with hematology problems, including sickle cell disease, and I had a patient who had a complication where they needed blood. After Dr. Mack ordered the blood unit for his patient, he received an alert from the app. Great news, your Red Cross donation on 62719 made its way to a hospital to help patients in need. I thought, oh, great, I'm glad, you know, my blood finally made it to a patient. And then I started to think a little bit about, okay, so this is my own blood. A few hours ago, I ordered blood on a patient. I did a little bit of recon work to figure out that his blood type and my blood type were the same. I believe it is likely that I ordered blood, my own blood, for a sickle cell patient. Privacy standards make it impossible to know for sure, but the coincidence only boosted Dr. Mack's devotion to increasing African American blood donations. I thought it was really cool, a unique story, a great way to emphasize that blood that is donated literally makes it back to a patient and in this case it happens to be a patient whose care I was in charge of. It keeps me motivated to continue donating. So far Dr. Mack has donated a gallon of blood. Blue tag donations are also tested for the presence of sickle cell trait. That's an added bonus for donors as